Hi guys, greetings from Geneva. Today we're about to interview Claire Sandali, my son event sales director at the prestigious Intercontinental, which by the way is one of the most important conference centers of the city. Come with me to find out what a career in events looks like. How does it change to organize events in New York, to Dubai, to Geneva, for example? At the end of the day, it's the same. You have to serve to the best your client. I think Dubai is a very avant-garde city, uh, fast-paced, um, very international. Uh, you have a lot of new infrastructure. You have new logistics. I open an hotel with brand new equipment. And actually, that leads you to productivity, efficiency, and business. In Europe and in New York, I think it's different. It's more about personalized service. Things take time, um, but it's not a negative thing. That I think you get to know your client better, to know their habit and to know their additional requirement. And I think this is the main difference between uh, the cities that I work in. So in your opinion, do you think Geneva is a good place to develop your career? I think it's a great place to uh, develop your career. The main reason is that Geneva is a very challenging market. And there is 11 five-star hotels located next to each other to a very small area. So um, actually learn you how to be the best, to make the difference and to be unique. And as well for me, when I came back to Geneva, for me it was very important to learn um, a new challenge. And I think the new challenge as well was to work with a diplomatic clientele. And I think it was a great opportunity for me to work at the Intercontinental to work with this type of clientele. How does being located next to the United Nations affect on your day-to-day? -to, -day? to be all honest, uh, the hotel has been very known uh, worldwide for its confidentiality. So you can imagine that I will not able, be able to tell you details about who we are coming here. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can tell you is that uh, when a delegation has been announced to the hotel, the entire hotel has to follow very strict rules and protocol procedures are in place to welcome them. Obviously, since it's very confidential, they cannot tell us in advance mm -hmm. when they're coming, so um, it's a range of 48 hours in advance. So what does a MICE and Events Sales Director do? What are your responsibilities? Actually, we have a very unique structure here at the hotel. Uh, when I started here, it was not like that, and uh, with my uh, Director of Business Development, we thought about a strategy in MICE. So for us, it did make sense to have kind of a 360 process for our clients. So the structure is that uh, we have an associate director in charge of sales field mice. So he's the one participating at all the local and international firms, selling the hotel and doing sales calls to very targeted clientele agencies. So he's a, he's a push sales, he's going to bring the business home. Mm -hmm. And then we have the convergent team, we have three managers who are actually taking the request, qualify the lead, and uh, their job obviously is to convert them into a contract. And we have an events team that take over from the contracting part and organize all the events details. Mm -hmm. And as well as they are in charge of handling all requests for catering only. And we have a group coordinator taking all the details about accommodation. So helping the events team to organize the accommodation side, to recognize all the VAP, organize all the transfers. So we wanted to have everything on this 360. My role and my responsibility is to supervise them, to support them, and to develop them to get a great service to our client. What skills do you think are essential to be good at uh, events? I think there is a difference between being good and great. Um, being good um, in events, you have to have the basic. It's male, you have to be organized, uh, you have to be detailed oriented, and you have to have interpersonal skills because you're dealing with a lot of departments in the events. But for me, to my opinion, to be a great one, you have to be proactive, meaning you have always to anticipate uh, client needs. You have to know your product very well, to the perfection. By knowing your product, you can be actually an expert and an advisor to your client. And for all of that, actually, it makes you a great professional and as I really think that it makes a difference between good and great. What's the part that you love the most of your job? When I started in events um, back in New York City, I loved um, organized events. The adrenaline that you feel when you organize events is what actually makes you continue and want to do the best for your clients. But at this stage in my role, um, I don't organize events anymore, but I try to pass it on, this adrenaline, to my team. 
help them to develop, help them to succeed and actually grow within their career. And I think this is my main role as well today for my team. What advice would you give to, to talents willing to, to develop their career in events? My main advice is not about skills because uh, I think skills you can learn. My advice is that they need to build their career slowly. Do not burn any steps because sometimes you make decisions for financial reason. Someone is offering you a better salary um, or a more attractive title. Suddenly you get manager or director title. When you feel it's not the right time, you don't need to jump into it. For me, and you can see from my resume, I think you have to be loyal to your employers. You have to stay long. You have to be stable within your career. You have to show that your resume is built logically. And, um, and I think you will reach wherever you want to go when you feel you're ready and mature enough to take over a director or, or a manager position. Thank mm -hmm. you.